Five Spice Tempe Square. Hi, everybody. I'm Paliki. I'm doing, um, I'm, I have got very crazy about cooking with tempe. And I got very lots of fun recipes. So I like to show you some of the tempe and how I eat my tempe. Yeah, I eat it with um, oriental sauces. Uh, very, very old oriental sauces. These sauces are hand me down from my cooking mentor, Dato Lim Beng Yam. Uh, he uses this on a lot of his uh, barbecue meat. Yeah, but because tempeh for the vegan is a, a substitution of meat, so I'm using the sauces to cook tempeh. And it's going to be fun because I've eaten all the sauces before and I like to share with you. These are very special sauces. He is so good with uh, my late cooking mentor. He's very good with making sauces. I like to share with you. So before I share with you, I will deep fry the tempeh first. So um, this is what you can do with your tempeh. Today, I make a lot of tempeh. So this tempeh is actually uh, not made with soya bean. It's made with lentils, a, a kind of black gram. So I cut it into squares. I'm going to do cook it with marinade with um, five spice powder, with the sauce and all that. Yeah, wait, I'll tell you. I'm just going to cut this and I'm going to put uh, it up and pan fry them. Wait for a while. Now, while this is been pan fried, I will share with you what how to do the sauces. Yeah, these are garlic, so we are going to get the garlic going. Chop it up the garlic. Okay, then we have coriander, we have some carrots for color and some chili. Okay, they're very simple. And um, so once the oil is hot, once the oil is hot, I'm going to pan fry them. Yeah, like that. Not very hot yet, but anyway, it will come up. Okay, so this is been pan fry. I'm going to run to the kitchen to get a bowl to do the sauces. Yeah, just give me a minute. Oh, smells so good. Okay. Now, why I got so fascinated with tempeh? Because tempeh, I found out that um, it contains a lot of amino acids, like nine types of amino acids. And it's very good for your bones. Yeah. It has, it has a lot of vitamin B12. It has a lot of vitamin B12. And um, B12 is very good for people who are aging like me older people so your bones will be strong and it's good for your guts yeah your stomach and prebiotics probiotics so because it's also good um i'm now not to say i give up meat completely but i'm eating a lot of uh, tempeh to, as a snack sometimes i do a lot of it yeah so i'll share with you some of the recipe as i go along so i want it to be a little crispy yeah, so here I'm going to prepare the sauce. Down here, the sauce, we need rose wine. This is rose wine. Okay, I'm going to take this down. This is rose wine. Chinese wine. If you don't have, you can use sherry. I need uh, 
here. I need two tablespoons. One, two, two tablespoons. You gotta close it up because the alcohol content is very high. If you don't have rose wine, use sherry. Then Worcester sauce, Lee and Perry, Worcester sauce. Oh, this is a new bottle. Oh my goodness, I forgot. Open ready. Okay, two tablespoon two. Oh, Mata is not here to help me. I've got to manage myself. I'm going to deep fry to make it a little bit. Okay. Then, oh, so a quarter teaspoon, sugar, one teaspoon. Okay. And then five spice powder. Okay. A teaspoon. Five spice powder. Tiny spice spice powder. Then you mix all this in. Okay, it's beautiful. So now my tempeh is done. I'm going to take it up. It's brown enough now. Have a look. Crispy and brown. Oh, then I turn off the heat. I'm going to take it up. Oh. This is how we take. Make sure the oil don't get taken up. So make sure this is how you do it because you are balancing the wok, yeah? Your plate underneath the wok, so you are balancing it. Beautiful. So one slip away. Whoa, nice. Now I'm going to take away the balanced oil. I'm going to take away the balanced oil. There's a lot of oil here. This oil can be used again. We're going to take away the balanced oil. So beautiful. Yeah, just need a little bit oil. And here, I'm gonna put on my heat again, and my garlic goes in. My garlic goes in, and give a good stir fry. And uh, I like a little bit of uh, coriander stick. Yeah, smells so good. Okay, and I stir this. You can see the garlic is uh, getting brown. So I'm going to lower the heat and then I'm going to pour this in. And then at the same time, I add some water. Uh, just to thicken, just to thicken the sauce. Uh, there's the chicken they saw, and I add in some carrot for color. A very fast recipe, but really nice, and increase the heat again. Okay, we are almost finished. Yeah, we are finished. We're going to let it boil, and then there you are, we are ready. Mm. Smells good, huh? I'm not so fond of uh, using a lot of uh, cornstarch or any such thing. I, I prefer it to be light. I don't have a problem with this. And once it's done well, about five minutes. If there's a lot, then you let it simmer, yeah? Well... This will grab, all the sauce will be grabbed into the tempeh. Temp and then we pour in. And we cook it. It's like stewing it. How nice to have an area where I can put all the things for washing. Ah. So once it thickens, it's ready. So how, that's how I like to eat my tempeh in many types of sauces, just not just one or two 
courses, but uh, many, I have a lot. I will try to share with you very nice recipes of making use of your tempeh. Okay, let it dry a little bit more. Mm, yum. This is tempeh made by black gram. Yeah, when you are doing the tempeh, uh, the black gram has a lot of black skin, so not so easy to take it out. That's why the evidence of the black blackiness is from the skin. Hey, if you like it drier, you can just let it go. Yeah. Just make sure as it gets thicker, just scrape the goodness back. Uh, like that. Yum. Very nice. You see? That's why you really don't need any of the cornstarch or whatever. You just let it infuse. And then it gets soaked in, cooks so nice. Okay, I'm going to turn off the heat, and that's it, finish. I'm going to plate. Yum. Yeah. This is called five spice tempeh squares. And then I put in some coriander. And some blue slices. Yay! So, Pearly here, cooking for you five spice tempeh square. And um, do help us to, do encourage us by subscribing to our channel in YouTube or in Instagram or in uh, Facebook, you know, it will encourage us to do more videos for you. Thank you for watching. So see you again next time. Bye.